Across the road, winter wheat is being top-dressed with pig slurry. This is being carried out by the contracting arm of slurry handling equipment manufacturers and suppliers, Tram Spread, using one of their own umbilical systems. The slurry from this pig unit at Wickham Skeeth is held in a lagoon with a capacity of about 14,600 cubic metres. As the slurry has a tendency to settle, it's constantly mixed when it's being spread to ensure an even product is applied over the whole field. A 160 horsepower John Deere 6920X has been hired in to drive transport wreck typhoon stone, fitted with a pivoting extension, giving an 11 metre reach and using a propeller to thoroughly stir the slurry. Centrifugal slurry, directed coupled to a 170 horsepower engine, pumps the slurry from the lagoon out to the field. It's being spread on a 27 hectare field of KWS Kielder wheat, which is just the other side of the yard, so there's no need for an additional pump. The main supply pipe is laid out across the middle of the field, 90 degrees to the tram lines. A 1982 112-horsepower Case 1694 is used to move the supply pipe across the field onto unspread land with a drag loop, or cow horn, which allows it to be dragged without restricting the flow of slurry. This keeps the pipe straight so that it doesn't roll or twist. The orange pipe then runs to the spreader, and only this much shorter pipe is dragged up and down the field by the applicator, keeping crop damage to an absolute minimum. A 130 horsepower John Deere 6630 is used on a tram spread 24 meter dribble bar applicator. This is applying 50 cubic meters of slurry per hectare, which is about a 5 millimeter covering, giving about 25 kilograms per hectare of nitrogen. The supply hose is connected to a swinging arm to allow tight headland turns without the hose bending too sharply. The slurry flow is split in two and passed to twin Vogelsang macerators, and each one feeds 40 outlets which are spaced every 30 centimetres over the width of the aluminium boom.